This is like the, the pits at the Daytona 500. Everybody gathers their trucks at the top of the hill here on our very first day. And just get the smell of the sage rush. Everybody gets all excited, getting all their stuff ready, waiting for the sun to come up. Let's chase these mule deer around. They don't know what's coming the rest of this week. A bunch of rednecks chasing them around all day. What a beautiful sight. And we're off. Year number, they're saying 12, I think it's 11. Which one is it, Cam? 12. 12th year on this ranch. We let Cam and uh, Cliff join us. We really don't need them here anymore. <laughs> we just need to use our trucks to get around on the two tracks. <laughs> but uh, we've got great history here. What a, what a history we have. What, we've had some of the best hunts we've ever had right here on this ranch. They use this as, uh, these mule deer use this as a uh, summer feeding grounds before they go back to the winter up to the strips, uh, Arizona strips. And they just bunch up here. There's bachelor groups in here that are just unheard of that probably you don't see too much anywhere else in the United States. So we're very lucky to be hunt this ranch this long. I'll probably hunt another 12 years as long as I can keep walking. So, well, it's just about that time. Let's get started. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It's the only words that come to my mind just being back out here in Utah. We got some heavy rains coming in. You can see the clouds moving in. We're supposed to have some severe thunderstorms this afternoon, but first morning's just gorgeous. Got the sun up. We've uh, found number two on the hit list. He's right out here in front of us, about 500 yards. Really heavy mass, looking beautiful deer. Uh, he was running with the number one, but we can't pick him up yet. We'll just keep scooting down on this two track here all morning and picking out the, co the coolies and spotting and glassing and see if we can pick him up. They didn't pick him up till 8.30 yesterday, so they feed all morning. As soon as it gets warm, about 11 o'clock, they start hitting the beds pretty quick. But it's nice and cool this morning, mid 50s, maybe upper 50s at the most. A little south wind, gorgeous. Took a shower getting ready for you. Took a shower, walk outside. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's uh, pretty ugly out there. So, what's the story? Um, I don't really know what the story is, you know. It uh, looks like it's gonna rain for sure. Yeah, I know, that's why I just look. We got uh, ugly looking radar for the next hour or two. wait for an hour or two and then okay. you can come and pick us up. How's that? Yep, that'll work. All right. I'll give it another hour and if something changes, I'll let you know. You got it. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, that's the story we got today. I took a shower, got all cleaned up. He's supposed to get us in 20 minutes and Curtis comes up. Did you see the lightning? I'm like, no. I took outside and it's lightning all around us. And we just looked at the radar and the radar show in the next three to four hours. Steady storms, rain, thunder showers. Really ugly. So, play it by ear. Mother Nature, you can't win. Never win. Where we go up two track all the time, it's our first uh, entryway into the ranch out every time. Up on the corner, there was a bunch of deer on the other side of the fence. It's not our property. Uh, our shooter buck and the number two buck are together. There, there's pipe. 20 maybe 25 deer there and at least a dozen bucks and he's just gorgeous we're 600 yards from him he's feeding this way we need him to come down and actually head to the west but uh he's a stud he's got that one little kicker off the right side they got storms all around us we keep getting alerts on our phones but 
actually they're splitting us with luck you can see the sun's out on this side but we got lightning in the background over here so it got them a little jumpy they were we rode up in here they normally don't take off on it they were all running as we drive up in so i don't, I don't know what it's going to bring this afternoon but we need some luck we need him to get move over here to the west side walking towards us which isn't what we want we need them to come across the fence but they'll follow that ridge i'd say they'll jump over here shortly why is a lot of deer there well we saw both of our shooters tonight we saw so many deer tonight i'm not sure out of the 11 years that we've been here that i've seen that many deer in any one night the storms were in and just all around us and we were thought we we're just going to get washed out and it actually just split us and the deer were just everywhere. They were a little jumpy because of all the lightning and the thunder and stuff, but they were just a, a lot of deer. We couldn't we couldn't even put a stock on though. There's just too many deer. So it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. So try again tomorrow morning. Get up there and get on that southern two track. Just creep up there and just keep spotting and spotting and spotting until we can get eyes on him. Um, I don't know. He gets, jumps down off that south side. We'll go down to the bottom and try to put a stock on him. Not go up. So. That's the plan right now. A beer and some ribs. Sounds good. You got your color? I'm, I'm rolling. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm rolling. Uh, morning number three here in Utah. We have, how do I, backfill into this. We have seen a lot of deer. They're basically the same deer, but a lot. It's kind of odd this year. There's not nearly as many bucks. Again, saying oddly because we're seeing a lot, but not nearly as many bucks on the whole farm. We basically got the top, top east end of the, the farm just loaded with deer, and the three bucks that are or shooter bucks are actually all in the same spot, all running together. Normally we have, down here on the west side, we have another group of bucks and actually usually another shooter buck or two that we can go after, but so it's making it a little more complicated. And uh, now we have no rain. The rain seems to make them move a lot. Basically they'll feed all day when it's raining. Uh, we're overcast and got some sort of system coming in. So, But uh, now that's done, we've got three days of 85 degree weather. We've gotten on our buck twice, maybe three times. Stocked on it last night, twice. Just It just won't sit still. Yeah, too many eyes, too many, they get too anxious. So, we're gonna keep grinding it out. And hopefully we can get him to stand still less than 150 yards today. So, see how that works out for us. But otherwise, good hunt. Nice, nice company. Good cabin to stay in, good food. A little tired, didn't get much sleep, but. I can sleep when I'm when I'm dead, so they say. He's got deer around him. Oh, he's got a lot of deer around him. Yeah. Deer in the drain, low on deer. Four or five deer. Well, 
extra about your best block. They love those oak leaves, don't they? Our big buck. Went down over the south side. We tried to stalk on the top of him last night, or this morning actually when we left. Pushed him down on the bottom. He's come up through these oaks up here. He's about 250 yards. We're gonna just creep up this two track here. He's with three or four other bucks. They're in front of him, so we got the wind in our face. We're just gonna creep along here. Hopefully this is gonna be our stalk. Curtis, you just stay behind me. Shoot, just so be ready. I'll get a quick range. I'm shaking already. Ready? Ready? He crossed the road, not him. It took forever to get there. Oh, I had to shoot. It was quartering just a little too much for me, but I had to shoot because that doe was going to bust us here shortly. That's our fourth stock on him in three days. Oh. Oh, I'm shaking now. I had him right at 70. I couldn't, I couldn't tell right where it hit. Could you see it, Curtis? Could you see? Good. Yeah, I know. It took forever to get there. I was just like waiting and waiting and waiting. God, am I shaking now. I wanted him to get a little more broadside, but that, oh, you saw the doe. She was gonna bust us any second. I can't believe they cooperated that long. We snuck up along this two track. He parked us back there. We snuck up along here. The wind's perfect, it's right into our face. The sun was a little bit into us, but oh, my shaking now. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Oh, <laughs> look down that way. That's where he fell down the hill then. That's the effects of a rage, baby. Oh, come on, Cam, you see him yet? Look at the blood. Oh, big deer. Hold on. Whoa. Big Dude, Cliffy, you ready? <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Hey, look how big he is. <laughs> Guys, oh my goodness, this is, I, I, I just, my words won't do it justice. It just, I just won't be able to, I'm a bit of a redneck, as if you guys didn't know that already, hillbilly. So my, <laughs> My wordsmithing isn't the best. This is my 11th year with these guys standing behind the camera and with Moss back here. And we've had 11 just spectacular years hunting with these guys. Uh, I just I don't know how lucky I was to hook up with these them, not only just for the hunting, but for the friendship and camaraderie. We beat their asses in golf every year at, at a tournament, so it's more fun there too, so. <laughs> but seriously, look at this deer. This is just a mass of four point with a nice little kicker off the side. We had four, this is the fifth stock we had on him in three days. And I say stocks, <laughs> some of them might not really be considered a full stock, but there's just so many deer here. And, and, and you usually don't complain about a target rich environment, but with this many eyes, it's just hard to stalk on them. It's just hard to get close. Uh, the only good thing about them, they're not real jumpy this time of the year. They're not real excitable, so it gives a little bit of an edge to us. But uh, with as many deer are there are here, they're really hard to kill. So uh, we're just, I just feel blessed right now. So uh, I don't even have the right words, but just massive deer, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it so much. Cam, jump up in here for a second because I need you to say something for me. See if you, you got this nailed after 11 years. Come on. What do we say at the end of every kill? Every video. Never Tell. apologize for your God-given right. Yeah, to hunt. To hunt. Yes. <laughs> Bam. You think I know by now? <laughs> hey, Congrats. thanks, bud. Thank you. on your tailgate? Yeah, you bet. That's a good scratch I have on the tailgate right there. Yeah, I don't care. Hey guys, for more great content from TGR like you just saw, Kenna Lee, what do they have to do? Hit that yeah. like and subscribe button. And go turn on those notifications. So that you know when our next piece comes.